Now in Fresnel's double mirror, what we have is we have a source, we have two mirrors, and two both the mirrors are inclined from the perpendicular with some angle, let us say this angle is a by 2, this angle is also a by 2. So, this angle is what? This angle is pi minus a. Okay, So, the angle between the two mirrors is kept as pi minus a. The angle a is very small and it tends to approach 0. Now, the light source is, is kept here and the light source is kept such that it, the light wave does not directly reach the screen. So, this part is hidden. This part is covered by something. So, the light waves only reach the surface, this screen after reflection from this two mirrors. So, for this mirror, when light waves from here hit, and hit the mirror and get reflected and again for this mirror, light waves hit this mirror and gets reflected. So, after reflection from this mirror, we have two waves coming and hitting the screen. Okay. So, let us say that this mirror forms an image of this object somewhere here S1 and this mirror forms an image of this object somewhere here, let us say it is S2. Let us say this, this let us say that this distance is A, so this distance is also A. Now, whatever light waves hit this mirror, this has a coverage field view of how much? This much? Right. From here, the light waves or from this mirror, the light waves after striking here can reach this region, this region, right. And from here, the light waves can hit this screen and this mirror and can reach this region, this region. So, the common region where the light waves, both the light waves hit each other is which region? Say this, something like this. This region, only in this region, this region, you see that we have light waves coming from both the mirrors. So, only in this region, we will get the interference pattern. So, the interference pattern will get only in this region. Okay. And this distance, let us assume that this distance is B. Okay. Also, you can see that in case of resonance double mirror, since both the reflections give a phase change of pi. So, the net difference of change in phase is 0. So, that means in this case that is Fresnel's double mirror, my interference pattern will be, will be exactly similar to what we got in case of Young's double slit experiment. Okay? So, here we have will have a central maxima, then we will have a dark band, then again a light band, then again a dark band. On the negative side again we will have a maxima, then dark band, then maxima, then dark band, like that. Okay. Now, in this case, the question is again find the distance between the slits that is d and find the total width of the interference pattern Tw and the distance between the distance between the screen that is the slit and the screen that is capital D. Okay. So, now to find the distance between the slits that is D and this 
fringe width that is capital D. Let's do some construction. Let's draw a normal from the source to the mirror. So if I draw a normal, this normal will pass through both the source S and the virtual source S1. Okay. Okay. Now let's join S2 and this source also. Okay. Done. Yes. Now this angle is 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. And this is pi minus A. So the sum of these three angles is what? It's 360 minus A. So this angle is A in this quadrilateral. Now if I draw a line, a line perpendicular to this normal, this normal, then I can say that this angle is A by 2 because the mirrors are symmetric about this line. So this angle is A by 2. Now when this ray of light strikes here, this point, it gets reflected such that if I extend this, this one is the image. So my this distance is equal to this distance, right? So if this angle is A by 2, this angle is also A by 2. Got it? Yes. Now, in this triangle now, this this triangle, this angle is A by 2, this angle is 90 degrees. So what is this angle? This is 90 minus A by 2, right? This angle is 90 minus A by 2. Now what is this whole angle? This whole angle is 90 degrees till here and this mirror is inclined at an angle of A by 2. So this is 90 plus A by 2. So I can write that this angle let us say is x, I can write x plus this angle I got as 90 minus A by 2 is equal to this, this angle I got as 90 minus A by 2 is equal to this whole angle. This ang whole angle was, uh, was 90 plus A by 2. From this I will get x as A. So this angle, this angle is A. Similarly, this angle is also A. That means this whole angle is 2A. This is vertically opposite, so this whole angle is again 2A. So what is my this distance D? This distance is twice of this, this distance from here to here. And what is this distance? This distance is simply what? A, A, right? So my D is 2A, A. Remember that for here, let us say this height is Y. I can write y by a as tan of x or tan of a. So y is a tan a. Since angle a is very small, I can write this as a. So my distance between the slits is 2a a. Similarly, here you see that this whole angle is 2a. So that means this angle is a. So if I take this triangle, I can write this height as this half height as b into a or the whole height or the total width as 2b a. Again the same principle, let us say this height is y dash, y dash by b is my tan a or a, so y dash is b a, so this total height is 2 b a. Now let us take the case of Fresnel's biprism, where again we, we use a prism to get two coherent sources, 